Hi gang, Robin from Adobe for Fashion here and in this video I'm going to go over using index color in Photoshop and color reduction for textile design. So I was recently asked how to do color reduction in Adobe Photoshop and I decided I would respond by posting this stuff on YouTube. So uh, this is going to be part of a series on how to put something into index color and then recolor it and do color reductions in Photoshop. So we'll start by putting this into index color. It's actually a lot simpler than you may think. You'll notice here that I've got my design. It's in a number of layers. It's in PSD right now. I am going to change the mode to index. So the way we do that is go image, mode, and select index color. It's going to tell me that it's going to uh, merge visible layers, discard hidden layers. Yes, that's what's going to happen. That's fine. I'm clicking OK. And now we're going to play with these settings. I always start by putting local perceptual. I set my colors to two, force to none, transparency is turned off, and I turn all this stuff off as well because I want a really nice clean image for this. Now we turn on preview and you can see that it looks terrible. We turn preview off and then we drop down again and we're going to go to custom. Now I want to show you something before I do this. I don't let Photoshop determine the number of colors or choose the colors. I do it myself because I want that control. So this is the reason that we're approaching it this way. So let's click back on here. We're going to switch to custom. Um, which is not letting me do it because I need to turn preview on, turn preview off, and then we can click on custom. Custom's going to open up a new window and now we're going to select our own colors. So I'm going to start by clicking on the very first square. I'm going to select the background color. I always start with the background. Click OK. Just seems logical to me. And then I go through the rest of the colors in a methodic kind of way. I'll either go from dark to light, light to dark. In this case, we'll kind of do dark to light. So I'm going to click on the next and we'll do the darkest red and click OK. Click on the next square and maybe do this pink. Click OK. The next square will move on to one of the purples. So we have this dark purple. And the next swatch is going to be the light purple. Then we have orange. We'll grab that. And then what's left is black, white, and this kind of brownish color. So we'll grab that brownish tan color and click OK. And now we need black. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer. I'm just hitting Control plus on my keyboard so I can do that. And let's grab that black. There we go. And finally, I need the white. So we'll click on that. Click OK. And that should be all the colors here. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to zoom back out again so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to click Preview. And ideally, nothing changes. But I can see something is changing and it's right down here. We're getting a change when I turn preview on. Um, so I must not have filled this with white. It might actually be gray. So let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom in again and let's figure out why. Yeah, I can see that's a gray instead of a white. So let's get that color and then we'll do a color reduction in order to, in order to get rid of that color. So we're going to click on custom again and we're going to pick one more swatch. We're going to grab that gray, click OK, click OK, and now we can check preview and this time nothing's changing. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I've just indexed now these colors. So what do we do now that we've indexed it? Well, I'm going to go up here to image, mode, color table. And now we can see the color table and the colors that we just created here. Uh, the last gray is a little bit difficult to see because it looks like the transparency, but there's gray there. So let's first fix that. I don't want the gray. I want it to be white. So I'm going to click on the white and I'm going to copy this color number here. So control C to copy it and click OK. And then I'm going to double click on the gray and I'm going to paste that white in the gray spot. So I've just turned that gray to white and now I have one less color here in my color chips. 
We can also use this window to recolor things. Maybe I don't want purples in here. Maybe I want them to be blues instead. So we can double click on the purple and maybe switch to a blue and double click on the other purple color and switch to a blue. So now I've changed those out. And now maybe the orange should be something else. So let's double click on that and maybe a yellower color would be nice and click OK. And now that I look at this, the background's not doing it for me. So let's switch the background color to something else. Um, and the fun thing about this is you can see the colors change in real time as you click on them. So that's kind of nice. Maybe the background, maybe the background wants to be a light turquoisey sort of color. Maybe something, oh, how about something dark like a chocolate brown? All right, so now I've got this recolored. I can click OK, and those are my new colors. But if I go back here to my color table, you'll see that there's two whites. So there's an additional kind of color here, and I'd like to get rid of that. So here's how we do that. We're going to go Image, Mode, and what I'd like to do is click on Index Color again, but it's a thing with Photoshop. It won't let me open that window. So what I need to do instead is image mode RGB just to get out of index color so I can get back into index color. Now we're going to go image mode index color and instead of previous or local perceptual that we clicked on before, this time we're going to click on exact. And you can see right now, before I do that, there are 10 colors, but if I click on exact it should go down to 9 colors click OK and now my color table image mode color table is going to reflect exactly the colors that I have here and as I look at this I gotta tell you I do not like these color choices one bit so I'm gonna go and change them up maybe this should be kind of a burgundy color that's sort of nice instead of that yellow and I did like the purple, so I'm going to go back to that purple range here. And we'll change this to a lighter purple. And the background color now maybe needs to be something else. Oops, cancel, that's not the background color. Notice it changed the order, which does happen sometimes. Uh, my background color, I believe, is this one. Let's see. Nope. Then it's got to be this one. Yay, there it is. Okay, so um, maybe something light. Maybe I want a, a bright white background on this one. So we'll click OK. And now I've reduced my color even one more. So let's take care of that again. We'll click on the white and we'll copy the color. We'll click on this white and we'll make sure we've pasted it so that they're both exactly the same white. Click OK. We'll backtrack again. We're going to go Image Mode RGB image mode index color and we want to be exact and you notice we're going down to eight colors this time click OK and now you see that I have indexed my colors and I've reduced the number of colors from 10 to 8. I always save my files once I index them the following way I'll do file save as I'll keep the original name of the file which in my case I have it numbered and then I always follow that by underscore index and then underscore the number of colors I indexed it to, which in this case was 8, and save the file. And that is how you do it. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And for more courses on Adobe for Fashion, visit lynda.com and type in fashion design.